everyone. In this lesson, you're going to learn to evaluate limits at infinity and infinite limits. So if you see x and an arrow to infinity, that just means as x approaches positive infinity. Or if we have x and an arrow and negative infinity, it means as x approaches negative infinity. So previously we were looking at evaluating limits on a number. Now we're looking at evaluate limits as x approaches either positive or negative infinity. So I have an example here of a graph, y equals 1 over x. And we can see that on this graph, we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. As x gets infinitely large and positive, this graph approaches 0. So as x approaches positive infinity, we're approaching the asymptote, which is the line y equals 0. And as x approaches negative infinity, we're also approaching that asymptote at y equals 0. So as x approaches negative infinity, the limit is 0. And as x approaches positive infinity, the limit is 0. So horizontal asymptotes are really critical in helping us find the limits when we're approaching positive or negative infinity. A function has a limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity if the function is either a constant or if it approaches a constant value, the horizontal asymptote. Now we're going to look at lots of examples, but I just want to refresh your memory on how we find horizontal asymptotes by looking at a function. And this is something you did in Algebra 2 and something we did previous in this course, but I'm going to review it again here. It should sound familiar. To find the horizontal asymptote, you're going to compare the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. All right, so this is the degree of the numerator. This is the degree of the denominator. A and B are the coefficients of those terms. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. If the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is going to be equal to the coefficients, so a over b. If the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there's no horizontal asymptote. So here we have some practice. Evaluate each limit below approaching either positive or negative infinity. If the limit does not exist, write DNA. Then state if the limit approaches positive or negative infinity. View the graph if you're not sure. All right, so we're going to be just looking at each of these and determining what the horizontal asymptote should be. So you see for this first guy, we have the degree of the numerator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 2. So n equals m. If n equals m, then we're looking at setting the horizontal asymptote equal to the coefficients, a over b. So what are the coefficients here? Well, we have um, a negative 3 over 1, or you could think of that as 3 over negative 1. Because don't forget, we have this negative right out front here, and we have to make sure we include it. So you can either put it with the 3, or you could put it with the 1. In either way, we're going to get a value of negative 3. So we have a horizontal asymptote at negative 3. So that means that our limit as x approaches positive infinity of this function is negative 3. All right, let's look at number 2. So the degree of the numerator in this case is 1, and the degree of the denominator is 2. So we have a degree of the numerator less than the degree of the denominator. We have this case. In that case, the horizontal asymptote is 0, so the limit of this function is 0. We have our degree of our numerator is 2, and our degree of our denominator is 1. So the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. Right. That means that we have this third case here where there's no horizontal asymptote. Right. So we're thinking that it does not exist. And we want to see, we want to look at this graph and see if it does not exist, is it approaching positive or negative infinity as x goes to the left? So this is saying as x approaches negative infinity, so as x goes left, 
what's happening to the graph. Because remember, I said in the directions, if the limit does not exist, write D and E, then state if the limit approaches positive or negative infinity. So let's look at the graph. You're going to go to Y equals, and you're going to enter the graph. And then we'll go to zoom six for a standard window. All right, so here we have our graph. And what we're doing is we're looking at the graph as x approaches negative infinity. So as we go left, how is the graph behaving? Well, as x goes left, the graph is going up. It's getting closer and closer to positive infinity. So this is does not exist positive infinity. At this point, I would say try the rest on your own. We've looked at one of each type of different scenario. Try the rest on your own and see how you do. For number four, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So we're going to use the coefficients. So the limit is three for number four. For number five, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, right? Two is equal to two. So again, we're gonna use the coefficients, negative two over one, which gives us negative two. The degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So we know that our limit is zero. For number seven, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So we're gonna use the coefficients. And for the last one, we don't have a numerator and a denominator. So we can't look at the horizontal asymptote. For this guy, then we're gonna look at the graph. So go back to y equals and enter in the function. We'll do zoom six for a standard window. And we wanna see how this graph is behaving as X approaches negative infinity. So as we go left, what's happening to the graph? Well, the graph is approaching negative infinity. So there's no number specifically it's landing on. Like if you have an asymptote, it's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. If you're not sure, you can also look at the table of values. Before we do that, let's set our table. Second window. We want to start maybe around zero. And we do want increments of like one or 10 because um, we really want to see what's happening over time. So let's go to the table, second graph. And now we're just going to see what's happening as we go left. Well, look what's happening to the Y values. They keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We keep, we are approaching negative infinity. So for number eight, our answer would be does not exist because we are approaching negative infinity. And as you know, if you're approaching negative infinity or positive infinity, the limit does not exist. The limit must always be a real number. This time for number nine, we're given the graph, which is very nice. And we're shown that the horizontal asymptote is happening at y equals three. So the first question, part A, says what's happening to this graph as we go left, as x approaches negative infinity? Well, what happens? We approach negative infinity, so the limit does not exist. But on this graph, as we go to positive infinity, as we go right, what are we getting closer to? Well, we're getting closer and closer to that horizontal asymptote of y equals three. So as we approach positive infinity, our limit is three. So for part A, we don't have a limit. As we go left, we don't have a limit. We're not approaching any particular number, but as we go right, we're approaching the horizontal asymptote of y equals three. Number 10 says sketch and then examine a graph to determine the limits at infinity. And we're going to sketch the graph and we're going to include any horizontal or vertical asymptotes. Now, just a note here in case you've forgotten that vertical asymptotes of a function occur at the zeros of the denominator. So we want to set our denominator equal to zero. So here's our denominator. 
So 1 plus x equals 0 and solve for x. So our vertical asymptote is happening at x equals negative 1. So let's draw that in. The horizontal asymptote is, again, occurring by comparing the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. Well, the degree of the numerator is 1. The degree of the denominator is 1. So the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So we're going to use the coefficients. And when we're talking about a horizontal asymptote, we know it's y equals. And the coefficients are negative 1 over 1. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals negative 1. Let's draw that in. And I always like to draw in the asymptotes before I sketch the graph. Now at this point, we need some points. It's always good to get some points before the vertical asymptote and some points after the vertical asymptote. So we want to get some points before negative 1, x is negative 1, and some points um, after x is negative 1. So let's go back to our calculator. We're going to go to y equals, and we're going to enter in our function. We'll go to table set to check how our table is set up, second window. And I'm going to start um, around negative 1, because I want some points before that and after it. And I want increments of 1 this time. And now we can go look at the table, second table. So we were expecting an error at negative 1 because we have a vertical asymptote at negative 1. And I just want to pick some points, you know, before negative 1 and after. So I chose to pick the points at x equals negative 7, negative 2, 0, 2, and 9, and I'm going to plot those points. Once you have your points plotted, sketch in your graph. Okay, now that I have my graph sketched, I can answer some questions about it. It says, determine the behavior of the graph near the asymptotes. So the first one reads, as x approaches negative 1 from the left. So as x approaches negative 1 from the left, so here's negative 1 right here, right? As x approaches that value, what's happening? Well, the graph is approaching negative infinity. As x approaches negative 1 from the right, so this time we're coming in this way and getting closer to x is negative 1, what's happening? We're getting closer. We're approaching positive infinity as x approaches negative infinity so as we go left on this graph as this graph goes left we're getting closer and closer to the asymptote of y equals negative one so we're approaching negative one and as x approaches positive infinity as we go right on this graph we're also approaching negative one So we want to find the limit as x approaches negative infinity, and we found that right here. We found that that's going to be approaching our horizontal asymptote at negative 1. And what is the limit as x approaches positive infinity? And we know that that is also at the asymptote of negative 1. Okay, everybody, that's everything I have for limits at infinity. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.